Howdy, homesteaders. We are at the Seed Swap in Frankfurt, Kentucky. This seed swap is put on by Stivers Homestead, and so far we just got started. So this is the very initial crowd. Let's see what's going on in here. Gotcha. This is Jen from Stivers Homestead. Hello, guys. Thank you for the seed swap today. It's doing well. All right. We just got started, right? Yeah. I know. We got, I don't know what time it is, but we got till 30. At least an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. I think there's probably going to be more people filtering oh, yeah. in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I never got to meet him, but yeah. he's up for a week. Four and a half hours. Whoa, four and a half hours. Oh, he's driving there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are their best friends. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be neat. To show you can grow a lot of food in a very small space. 30 to 45 days. Okay. Wow. Wouldn't it be great to save so. some seeds from them? Yeah. Let them go to seed. Yeah. And they're yeah. all Baker Creek, so they are heirloom, so you can. Are you can... Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever's left, take whatever. <gasps> Woo! Well, oh, now you need four. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And we've already got them. The ones that I've actually stuck in the ground oh, wait, have already got cauliflower some? heads. Oh, you got Probably two inches on them. So. Once they went in, they just went boom, and they're starting. These two look a little cutie, but some of them are starting to get some. Oh, I can't believe I dropped yeah. it. That's probably where they turned over in the car. So. I think we can save it. Oh, it is. I'm with Alicia with uh, Providence Farmstead. And uh, what do you think about the seat swap? I think it was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to the Stivers holding it again next year and making it an annual event. Okay. And uh, so you have a, a YouTube channel as well. We do. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Are you doing Grace? Well, we um, we had a car accident in 2007, and we lost our child. Uh, about six months after the initial training of that, my husband and I asked ourselves, what do we want to do? And my husband had been working a lot before our son passed away, so he missed out on a lot. 
and we decided we didn't want to always be working outside the home. So we decided to start homesteading and growing most of our own food for health reasons and then hopefully getting to the point where we would have a farm where my husband would be able to stay home and just work with family. So we looked for a farm for five and a half years and had a lot of farms fall through. We had shady real estate agents and you know, claims too far from the market area. And it was like God was telling us, just hang on, it's coming. And my husband's uncle passed away. And that was very sad for our family. We never would have dreamed we would have been able to buy part of the farm, but we were able to afford 50 acres of the farm. And that's what we bought. That's We just got started a couple years ago. We have a lot to do. It's one small step at a time. And that's the reason we're called Providence, because before God was telling us to wait. It was all about God's perfect time. Amen. And, you know, uh, I think whenever I hear stuff like that, and I've gone through some similar things in my life, uh, but really I don't want to talk about myself right now. Uh, but the Bible does say that uh, as a Christian, we can have peace beyond understanding. And a lot of people will say, well, what does that mean, to have peace beyond understanding? And I believe what it means is, is that we're going through something that's tragic, it's heartbreaking, it's something that would cause... I think most people just become unglued and to have a peace as you go through that because you're not going through it alone. Mm -hmm. You're going through it with, with the Lord with you, giving you strength, holding you up, leading you through that. Then that's where the source of the peace is coming from. And then that's why it's peace without understanding. It's peace that the rest of the world can't understand. Because they don't know the Lord. So that's just something, the way I look at it. That's true. I, I won't lie. I won't say it's always been peaceful. You know, right. we, we have really hard days. Right. We have days where, you know, it's just too painful to right. to remember or to think about. But Levi is always on our minds. And, right. you know, we're going to do our best to remember him and remember what he brought right. to this world. Right. And, then, and, you know, and it's, you know, the Lord is, gives us strength. So, you know, uh, the Bible says in the Philippians 4.13, uh, uh, let me see, how does that go? Remember that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> in Christ Jesus, uh, we can do all things in Christ Jesus. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's it. Yes, we can do all things in Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Uh, my brain froze up there for a moment. Uh, but that that's where we get our strength. And uh, a lot of times, you know, like I said, I've gone through uh, hard times as well. And, and a lot of people do go through hard times from time to time. But if you have uh, a place to draw your strength from, then that's what gets us through. So uh, so you got a nice uh, farmstead going. And it's, uh, we said, 80 acres? Uh, we have 50. And then my, my dad's father owns another 46 beside us so we have just under 100 acres between the two of us that we'll be able to work with okay so that's a lot to go with and, and like you said uh, uh, did you already mention the fencing with the no it needs fencing um my husband's uncle did not like to work on things he had the ability financially to work on them but he just would let things go and so the fence needs replaced to fence around the perimeter is going to cost us over twenty thousand dollars so right. it's a it's a big chunk of change. So until we get that done, it's hard to get started on the livestock and the things much more than the goats. Yeah. Right. So yeah, just keep at it and keep pushing forward. And uh, right now you're just raising food for your family and doing stuff like that. Uh, but you know, like I, I was saying before, we had an interview before, but we got cut off. Uh, I'm sorry. What? what? <laughs> sorry, everyone. <laughs> Okay, and uh, so, uh, you know, if you just build with what you got and build a little bit more and build a little bit more, and I think that's probably a pretty good approach, and the Lord will, wow, someone just broke something. Uh, I believe that, you know, uh, if you just keep at it and keep working at it, that it'll, it'll turn out. You have a really good start. Like, like you said, you have all that land, uh, so that's that's a, a promise of the future. Uh -huh. It's and just a matter of getting it laid out. Probably. Get it laid out and get working yeah, with it. Absolutely. And uh, you know, opportunities will, will arise, and then that's that's when, that's when things happen. Yes. So, so I have a question I want to ask. Uh, how many seeds did you get? 
Oh my goodness, I don't know. My boys kept bringing them and stuffing them in my purse. <laughs> so I'm not sure, probably a couple of dozen at least, right. maybe more. And you know what amazes me is I got a lot of seeds too, and my wife got a lot of seeds. And oh no! I didn't know she was getting seeds, and she didn't know I was getting seeds. So we got oh. two really big handfuls of seeds, and uh, you know, even after everyone getting all these seeds, there were still, there a, lot still a lot of seeds, seeds left. left. My boys were actually over there digging in the box mm -hmm. whenever it was packed. So, and uh, again, you know, uh, Baker Creek providing all those seeds. Uh, that's just a wonderful thing to keep those plants going. Uh, to keep that uh, the plants out there so that they don't disappear off the face of the planet. So it's really important. Absolutely. All right. So uh, if they have this again next year, what do you think? you think you're going to try to make it? Yes. Hopefully with no car trouble. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, you know, sometimes things don't go the way you want them to go. And their vehicle broke down, and uh, they had to call AAA uh, to get it towed home and stuff. So that's, that's really tough. Uh, but, you know, that's all part of life, and uh, you reach a problem, you find out what you need to do, and then you get past it. Uh, so hopefully everything turns out well with that. All right. Hey, guys, how are you? I'm Chris from Single Dad Homesteading. We're here at the Stivers having a good time. All right, so uh, what's, your, uh, what's your channel about? Well, what we're trying to promote is single people, single parents, single mothers, fathers, getting out and homesteading. It's a lot harder to do, but if we, you take the chance and do it, the, the reward is so much better. We like to preach. We like to talk about the Lord, uh, grow good food, harvest good, good, good meat for our bodies, and uh, sustenance just from this, this beautiful planet that the Lord Jesus Christ gave us. All right, amen. I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Uh, okay, now, coming to this event, the seed swap from the Cybers Homestead, uh, what did you think about it? Awesome. Great time. We drove four, about four and a half hours. We got here. I um, actually have Eli, if you guys have seen him on the videos. Uh, we get him every two or three weeks from his dad. Uh, been a wonderful time. He's playing in the background right now. Um, just, just a good bunch of people. Whenever you can get into this homesteading community, if you're not into it and you're watching this video for the first time, you need to get into it because you'll never find a better group of people. Okay, I'm going to ask you a, kind of an uncomfortable question. Never an uncomfortable question. How many seeds did you get? How many seeds did I get? I took about 15 packs of seeds that were stuff that I didn't have. They had some cotton seeds at Baker Creek. Baker Creek hooked these guys up. 30-some-odd pounds of seeds they sent. And if you have, go support them. Go buy a pack of seeds. If you buy one, go buy them. Um, I, got, I got cotton, like a cotton seed. We got a bunch of different flowers I didn't have. Some crazy melon that's like a miniature sour melon. Uh, we got miniature lim lemons that I hadn't got a hold of. And then the cool part was, is there was probably almost as many seeds that everybody else brought from their homesteads and stuff. So that was fun to get to see what everybody else was growing and share with everybody. Yeah, and you know, uh, yeah, Baker Creek doing something like that, that's uh, really awesome. And you think, you know, a seed company is just in it for the money, uh, but when they do stuff like this, uh, they're really in it to keep the seeds going and to keep them from disappearing because a lot of the seeds that come from Baker Creek are those seeds that would have been lost, uh, would have been lost to the generations because they weren't getting passed on from grandfather to son, from son to grandson, and sometimes that line gets broken, and then you end up losing an entire seed. You end up losing an entire uh, crop that, that, that was a really good crop that's not going to exist anymore. So Baker Creek is doing everything they can to keep these seeds going, and these seed swaps do everything they can to keep them going because when you bring in your seeds that's coming from your family and you swap them with someone else, you're sending to another part of the country, and you're keeping those seeds going, and I think that's really important. You, you're, you're spot on. I mean, I think it is, too. Uh, if you get a chance to go up and see them in Missouri at Baker Creek, they have, they'll let you go through the greenhouses. They have a, a vegan, I eat meat, sorry, but they have a vegan restaurant that is absolutely Absolutely amazing. And it's not just here, guys. Baker's Creek does these seeds everywhere. We just got back from the shindig. They had 4,000, 4,000 packs of seeds is what they said. And I would say it was probably twice as much. They gave away their magazines that are 20 bucks a piece. They gave away hundreds of those. This year's magazines, not last year's magazines, this year's magazines. So, I mean, get on there, give them support, get on there. Go like Stivers Homestead. Go check them out. What's your channel now? Micro Farms. Uh, single Dad Homesteading. Go check us all out. Give us the support. We're all smaller channels. Um, you know, we're, we're going pretty quick. Stivers are going pretty quick. But 
it's all because of you guys. That's right. It, yeah. it is. It, it really is. We we appreciate the support. So. All right. Thanks yeah. for talking with me. Yeah. All right. Here I am with the Stivers. There you uh, go. All right, how's it going? Going good. Going good. It's been a good day. Good day. Oh yeah. So we uh, this is the end of the day from the seed swap. Yes. Uh, how do you think it went? I think it was great. I think it was a complete success. How did you? Uh, we had a lot of friends come. A lot. We got to meet a lot of people in mm-hmm. town that we didn't know, and I think it was one hundred percent what we wanted it to be. Yeah, it was constantly full. There was mm-hmm. people in and out, coming and going, which is what a seed swap is. Yeah. You come get your seed, drop some off, and go. Uh, so I don't know. There's a lot of people that came yeah. in. I know a lot of people didn't uh, sign, but we'll try to look back at the videos and stuff and mm-hmm. see if we can get a general idea. A lot of people, people uh, came with their collection of seeds, and they were really proud of it. And they were, I could see the excitement on their faces when they got to talk to other people that felt the same way that they that they did. Yes. <laughs> and I think that was really cool. It was just kind of, you know, you'd hear people geeking out over seeds in the corner, and I love that because yeah. I do the same thing, but I don't have anybody to talk to it about. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, one thing I got from it is, you know, uh, I was walking around as much like it. I was having a lot of trouble with my live feed. Uh, I couldn't get it working and everything. Uh, so I kind of missed out a lot of that on that. But I did take some time walking around and talking to people. And, you know, there's there was a lot of seeds available, I'll tell you that. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, when you have all these different seeds, and sometimes you'll see seeds that you have never even heard of before. Yeah, yeah that's the cool and, and those are the seeds that you want to keep planting and keep going so they don't disappear right you know we're not talking about the green beans that you grow that you can get in the can from the grocery store you know we're talking about, oh uh these are runner beans right and these are beans that you can't get at the grocery store yeah. now, i want to get those beans and keep them going oh here's a, a melon i've never heard of before i wonder what that tastes like mm-hmm. so you grow it and then you find out what it tastes like mm-hmm. so it, it's like an adventure uh and and you're keeping seeds from being extinct so i think it's really important yep. And, uh, you know, again, I, I said it already, uh, thank you to Baker Creek uh, for all the seeds that, that were given. And I know uh, a lot of people I talked to, they, they, they got a lot of seeds. And everybody was trying to be a little conservative, but I think everybody got a lot of seeds. I got a big handful of seeds yeah. myself, and then I found out my wife went and got a big handful of seeds. And I was like, well, I got my handful of seeds. She's like, well, here, look at all these seeds. Okay. I'm like, whoa, we got two big handfuls of seeds. There so were plenty. How, was there a lot left over? Oh, yeah, yes. there was. And we even told people at the end, you know, we said if you were Still frugal about it and you didn't get what you wanted, go back and get more. And a lot of people did, but we still... Came home with a lot. Yeah, a lot of people that came early and left only got a few. Yeah. I wish we could have said, just take all of them. Yeah. You know, but we do have quite a few left, but a lot of the stuff was taken. Um, the rest will be given away. We yep. will still give them away and uh, figure out a way to do that as yep. well. Okay, uh, sounds like a big success to me, and hopefully we'll have many of these to come. What do you yes, think? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We'll definitely have another one. Until next sure. year.